When you become more clear, he'll become more consistent. Go ahead and take a break real quick for a second. I want you to focus on what you're asking and you're only asking one thing, okay? And that is for him to go into the gate that you're asking for, right? So like over here, you know he likes to slow down and he wants to fall out of that gate, but you're needing to pull him off of that, that wet spot over there. You're still, you're gonna do all that, but the moment he gives you that canter, that's when you get to take the pressure away. You're doing absolutely fine. Your positioning is good. The only thing where I'm seeing apprehensions, apprehension on your part is you're not getting in there and making contact. And so you have a, from what I'm seeing, you have an apprehension to make that contact. I imagine it's because you don't want to hurt him. You don't want to put too much pressure. You're doing more harm by not being clear. And so because you're not just being clear and telling him exactly what you want, he's confused and he's losing confidence. He's like, well, if she doesn't know what, I, what she wants, then what business does she have telling me what to do, right? And so you need to say, hey, I want one thing, is I'm just gonna keep asking for the canter and I'm gonna be clear with that. Now, you can decide whether to go into that canter or not, but I'm gonna keep with lots of, be, with lots of clarity, I'm gonna be loud until you actually go into that canter, right? Your decision. But this is my choice and this is what I'm deciding to do. And with you, whether you respond to that or not, that, like that's on you. But when you do choose to respond and connect with me, all the pressure goes away and we're okay, right? But the moment that you decide you're gonna do your own thing, you can do that, but I'm gonna continue to make it really uncomfortable for you because it's not gonna change the choice that I already made. Does that make sense? Okay, and so I really want you to, and there is, there's a couple things going on. You know, there's that, that wet spot over there. There's like six other pins here. We could have moved to another one, but it's good for you to be able to manage that. Because just like when we were out there, there was that haste. You had to manage and keep him from drifting over. And so it just gives you those skills so that while one, I'm, you know, requiring and asking, hey, keep going to that canter, I'm also saying, hey, but stay over here and don't fall over yourself. And that's just part of the, the natural order of things with horses, you know. There's gonna be obstacles and challenges and stuff. So you're doing really good, but I want you to get in there and tap him. Whatever amount of pressure you feel is necessary in order to motivate him to move, multiply that by two.